Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Kristen and I just moved. So if you guys haven't seen my empty apartment tour, I will link it up here and I'll have it down below, but I'd prefer if you wait till the end of this video to watch it. So I am going to give you five tips on how to move with less waste or just move kind of zero waste. Personally, I think it's impossible to move zero waste, but let's get right into it with tip number uno. Number one, I want you to use what you have. This is the most basic thing because I think a lot of people think that you have to buy a ton of boxes and wrapping paper and bubble wrap just to wrap like fragile things, especially in your kitchen up. And you do not need to do that. So here are the things I use. I use scarves, I use towels, I use shirts, I use flannels, dresses, whatever the heck you have, I promise you that will give you padding. And that's what I've been using for a while. I've lived in three states in the past four years. I've moved a lot. So I, you could say I'm an expert at packing and moving for sure. I know how to do it. I know how to use all the spaces. And this, you already need to pack this stuff. So pack it up with all your fragile items and you're good to go. Also, I just wanted to say, when I say use what you have, you can use the furniture you have if it fits in the space and you can paint it. I painted an old desk it used to be my mom's best friend's desk from the 60s and I painted it white and it just gave it this whole new look. It was kind of like this weird, it was a weird like yellowy cream finish and it just looked really old. So I painted it all white and it looked so good and I'm so excited to have it in this space. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that and you saw me talk about painting it and all of that. But yeah, it's just, it's something to think about. You can paint furniture if you like hate what it looks like. It totally can remake a space. Also, I reupholstered or like recovered the chair that comes with the desk with my grandma's old fabric. And she actually like upholstered an entire chair with the fabric. So she had this scrap fabric that I found at her house. And I was just so excited to use it and like I don't know, I'm very, but yeah. So I use that and it's just kind of fun to have a little piece of her in the space and it's so cool. I love 60s and 70s stuff, so it works wonderfully. Just gotta add that in there. Number two is I want you to use cardboard boxes that you already have. So if you know you're moving, say it is January and you know you're moving in March, I want you to start saving boxes, which sounds kind of like a hoarder, I know, but I'm telling you, it will save your butt if you're saving all these boxes over time. I had a ton of imperfect produce boxes, which I have a video about. I'll link it up here. But I have a ton of Imperfect Produce boxes that I've been saving because I knew I was going to move soon. So I used those to move and it helped so, so, so much. Also, if you are moving super close, I moved really close to where I was. So instead of having to like buy more boxes, make a few trips. So I literally was not moving far at all. Now, if you're not renting a U-Haul and you're just using your car anyways, you're gonna have to take multiple trips. So use the boxes you have, unload them, unpack them, bring them back to where you were, pack up some other things at the place you're moving out of, and keep moving and do it in that process. That's what I did and it helped save a lot of new boxes that I would have had to buy. So yeah. Okay, so tip number three is that I want you to use packing materials from your friends, your family, local businesses, coworkers, whoever. I want you to ask for packing materials from them because trust me, I guarantee you, people have Amazon boxes. They have those stupid little plastic pillow things that come in packages. They have poly mailers. They have stuff laying around the house. Especially if you know my family, like there is a lot of extra packing materials, lots of boxes, and then you don't have to buy things and you're saving money because you don't have to buy things and you're helping the planet out by not buying new things. So use what you have, ask people for those materials if you do not have them and trust me, it'll help a lot. There are so many businesses that have a ton of cardboard boxes. I'm telling you, if you ask 10 businesses, at least one will have boxes that they will donate and give to you. I promise I would be shocked. So moving on to the next thing. 
Now, this fourth tip is something that I personally failed at. So I'm giving you this tip so it's a little reminder and if I move again, which I probably will because I'm on a roll so far. I need to remember this just as much as anyone else needs to remember this. So tip number four is meal prepping. Now, I moved really close to where I was, so it would be super easy for me to meal prep and then move something from one fridge to the next. Now, I know because I have moved across the country before, you cannot do that. However, you can pack snacks and other things like that and just have like canned goods ready to go if you're driving across the country, if you're flying across the country, if you're moving across the world, it gets a little tricky. But you can definitely pack snacks either for the road or for the plane or boat, however the heck you're moving, I don't know. Just have some sort of food ready so you don't have to buy a ton of food and packaging. I got food to go because I was not prepared and was not ready. Moving is stressful and tiring. So if you have at least snacks, that is awesome to have and have it ready to go. So my last tip is pretty basic and it's going to save you money and it's going to help the planet out, definitely. So tip number five is to not buy new things. Now, I've seen a ton of moving vlogs over the years on YouTube because I love YouTube and it's great entertainment, but people are constantly buying new things that they already had in their last apartment or their last home and then they're buying new things for their new apartment because they want new things, da da da. You don't have to buy new things. Now, when you are moving, especially for me, like I kind of declutter and I see what I want, what I want to take with me, and it's kind of a nice way to declutter and do all of that. So, if there are things that you don't have, sometimes you do have to buy new things. Like I had a really kind of nasty cutting board and I needed a new cutting board, so I did buy that new. Just because that's something I feel kind of weird buying used. I don't know, maybe that's just me. You tell me if you would buy a used cutting board. So I did buy that new. I got some bamboo cutting boards and that will last me a long time. Hopefully, knock on wood. With things like furniture and home decor, you can definitely buy that used if you want something new or you have a new space, like you need an extra dresser or a new desk or whatever, you can find that used. Now, here are the places I want you to look. Also, if you have things that you're trying to declutter, you can also use these types of platforms to sell your old stuff, like furniture, all of that. I would recommend, the easiest thing is like just putting it out on the street and having it for free because someone will probably <laughs> take that. Um, you can donate it to a thrift store like Goodwill, Salvation Army, whatever, but you have the chance of it not selling and then they might put it in a landfill, you never know. So I really recommend places like Facebook Marketplace, which personally I have not tried yet, even though I really should. Um, small things you can put on like eBay or Mercari. And if you want to buy new things, I recommend going to like estate sales. Personally, I have a really cool yellow, like vintage 60s, 70s crushed velvet chair and it's amazing and I got it for $35 and it literally is in like brand spanking new condition. Like it looks like someone purchased it last year and it's amazing. It was in this person's bedroom so they never used it but estate sales are great and you can find really good quality pieces of furniture. Price range is all over the board. It can be super expensive, it can be super cheap but that is something you can go on Craigslist in college. I found a Thanksgiving couch. I'll try to insert a picture here. Uh, some people loved it in the house, some people hated it. I was one of the people that loved it and I picked it up with my friend, so thank you to my friend. But anyways, so those are my tips for moving. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are interested in my empty apartment tour, I will have it up here. I also have a zero waste shower routine that I will put on the screen here that you can click on. It's in the old place I was living at, but uh, still using the same products today. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below. And just remember, you do not have to be perfect to live sustainably. I will see you guys next time. Bye.